Um, we're very, we're very thankful for the life that God's called us to. And my husband travels with me some, but is not here tonight because he has baseball. Um, he is coaching baseball, a, a 15-year-old team. And, and it's a pretty big deal because this is the first time he's worked in about eight years. Um, he has been recovering from a brain tumor. And that uh, is something that happened pretty early on in our marriage. And it's, you know, as newlyweds, you just never expect, you know, when the health problems happened that, that you would hear the words brain tumor come out of the doctor's mouth. And I'll still never forget uh, meeting with the doctor, finding out that Martin was going to have to have surgery, and hearing that it was possible that after the surgery, Martin wouldn't even remember who I was. Well, sure enough, that, that first time I got to see him after his initial surgery, as soon as our eyes met, he said, Laura Story. I thought, oh, he remembers me. <laughs> and then he said, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> and I realized that he knew exactly who I was. He just had no idea that we were married. <laughs> Which is really, really weird news to break to your spouse. <laughs> and I, I don't remember exactly how I informed him of this, but I'll never forget his response. He said, we're married? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Which is the best way that can go down. <laughs> but I like to share a little bit of, of our experience because I, I know in a room this size, there's probably a lot of you that there's been something in your life that hasn't worked out the way that you thought it would. Something that, that you've prayed that God would fix and for some reason he's, he seems to have left it broken for now. And for us, we're so very thankful that Martin is alive, because we, we weren't sure whether he would live through any of it or not. Um, but I'll be honest, he, he lives with some disabilities. He lives with a, a vision deficit and a memory deficit that really make life hard. And anyone that has a disability or lives with someone with a disability knows that it, um, it just turns your world upside down. And it's been hard for us spiritually as well, because we, I've believed since I was a little girl that God is all powerful and that God is all loving. And I know that he, he can heal Martin just with the snap of a finger. So it's hard sometimes to understand why that healing hasn't come yet. And I pray pretty much every day, God, if today is the day that you heal Martin, I promise to give you all the glory. And I feel like every time I pray that, I hear God saying back to me, just in that small voice where God just speaks straight to your heart. I hear him saying, I know Laura, but what if the healing's actually a process? What if it's a long road that invo involves more sleepless nights than you ever imagined? Involves more faith than you ever thought yourself capable of? Will you still give me all the glory? And so I'm learning to say yes. <laughs> I don't wanna say that it's easy, but I'm learning to say yes. I'm believing in faith that just because I don't understand God's plan, it doesn't mean that he isn't a good and faithful God with a good and perfect plan. So this is a song about asking God to open our eyes to see the blessings in the midst of our trials. We pray for blessings. We pray for peace. Comfort for family, protection while we sleep. And we pray for healing, for prosperity. And we pray for your mighty hand to ease our suffering. And all the while, you hear. Yet love is way too much to give us lesser things. Cause what if your blessings come through raindrops? What if your healing comes through tears? What if a thousand sleepless nights are what it takes to know you're near? And what if trials? Thank you. 
Sky.